Reality check, reality check. Welcome back to Aromatic Realistic TV. And tonight we still look into the SOE. And the less fortunate always they feel the pressure. And as I make my case, you guys will understand what I'm talking about. We know that for the past two years, the government of Jamaica, out of the Prime Minister's office, the country are under lockdown. So the little poor man, them, the little vendor, them, them shut out. Nothing can take place. Seeing them open up back in place now, you know. If you notice, you know, some face and the whole of them big show they keep, you know. Some face and the whole of them big show they keep. Seeing? But when it come on to the little poor man, them. I'm just wondering, you know, if the government take to consideration, you know. So you have a whole heap of man out there, you know. What book them show in advance, you know. A whole heap of promoter out there, what book them show in advance. Print up them flyers months ago. They advertise months ago. Pay sound man. Pay artists, pay the people them to come decorate. And you just look on them and tell them, say, listen man, SOE, state of emergency. Now nah, happen. Uh -uh. Foot pound the neck one more time. Mr. Prime Minister, where is your conscience regarding the poor people them in Jamaica? Mr. Prime Minister, you don't know, consider nobody else but yourself and your big friend them. Because I really have to ask this question, you know. You understand? Because these people are looking forward for the event. That they plan way in advance. Make down payment and select a down payment and artist, down payment and decorator. And you just will tell them, say no. And it's not just them, you know, but the little chicken man, the little pork man, the little cane man, the peanut man, the soup man, the hairdresser, the nail tech, the little man with the juggling clothes, them. Because everybody they look for God and now go celebrate and enjoy themselves. Because you know, so you lock them down for the past two years. And you just put down your foot on their neck again. State of emergency. St. James, Anova, Westmoreland. Ochi, Kingston, St. Andrew, and a couple more places. And them thing that we are asked about, Mr. Prime Minister. Where is the concern for the poor people in Jamaica? Where is your care? You run on prosperity. Poor people, economy, Christmas. Every man out the hustle. Pick me if you go back to school January. Come on, Mr. Prime Minister, man. That don't look good, man. Something that is not working. And this is your reason for the state of emergency. I see where you come out. The Prime Minister, the Commissioner of Police, the Minister of National Security, they all come out and say there is 300 gunmen in a Jamaica. 
or 300 hierarchy gunmen in a Jamaica wa must distribute or whatever, whatever, I don't know. Them says so. But I'm just asking the Prime Minister, the Commissioner, seeing the Security Minister, if 300 gunmen that you guys are aware of, you guys have all the intelligence. And on me, sister, and on my word, you come from press conference when you try to get the SOE. This is why you come tell people more, on, more than 300 gunmen. One aware of. Mr. Prime Minister, seven years going out since you are in office. And you have the balls to tell the Jamaican people that there is 300 gunmen out there. Knowing that you, Mr. Prime Minister, the Commissioner of Police, the National Security Minister, Minister of National Security, you guys have the tools. You guys have, 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 have your SWAT team, your armored car. Your helicopter, your drones, your soldier, your police. So what are you telling us as citizens of Jamaica, Mr. Prime Minister? That you need a SOE, a state of emergency, to go in and catch five, three men in this community. Mr. Prime Minister, it don't need a SOE. Mr. Prime Minister, remember you said you don't have the intelligence about 300 plus gun man you guys have the resource to just go in early morning before day make your raid and take out these man Mr. Prime Minister you have you are there now seven years and you are telling us that you guys have intelligence so what are you guys doing with the intelligence you guys are just sitting down on the intelligence You're sitting down on the intelligent when it's the duty of the Commissioner of Police, the Minister of National Security, and the Prime Minister. Mr. Prime Minister, remember, so you take this same police drone, armored car, SWAT team, helicopter, go over Clifton community, just go broke down us, you know, Mr. Prime Minister. It was just us, you go over there, go broke down. And now you tell the Jamaican people, Mr. Prime Minister, that you have intelligence about 300 plus gunmen and you guys sit down on that information you guys sit down on that intelligence 70 years now Mr. Prime Minister and nothing done nothing done with all these intelligence that you gather with your commissioner, your ministry of national security and yourself. And now you're telling the people of Jamaica that you have to have the SOE, the state of emergency, to come shut down their community, deprive them of their rights. If you catch two or three criminals, when the intelligence that you guys are sitting down there and it's easily, easily you could move in with that same force that you that you move in with over Clifton community. You don't need a SOE if you take out those criminals because you say you have intelligence. So why are you guys sitting down on the intelligence? And now you're gonna deprive poor people, law-abiding citizens. Then can't have them party. Man where they announced them party six months ago, three months ago, four months ago, up to a year some man they announced them party. And now you go tell them after they make them down payment to sound man, down payment to artist, down payment to decorator. You go tell them now say, none of that. Foot pound on neck. 
state of emergency. Mr. Prime Minister, where is your conscience? I know you have a heart inside of you. Remember when you come into the Jamaican people, they present you to the Jamaican people as the seven day messiah. The man of God. Where is that heart of God? Where is that man of God? Where is he? Where is he? Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Commissioner of Police and the Minister of National Security, you guys don't need a SOE. You guys don't need a state of emergency to catch 300 gunmen. The police force, the military, your SWAT team, the armored car them where you have, your drone, your helicopter, and the intelligence that you guys gather. You guys can easily go in before day without disrupting the community and take out these guys. If you guys want them, but you guys have that info and you sit on it. You sit on it. And now you're telling law-abiding citizens that we're gonna deprive you of your right from moving freely in your own, in your own community. Because we want to catch one or two criminals. The responsibility of the Prime Minister. It is the responsibility of the Minister of National Security. It is the responsibility of the Police Commissioner. To go for these criminals wherever they are in Jamaica. But you don't need a state of emergency. You don't need to lock down the whole entire community. Because one... The criminals are aware where the state of emergency is going. So tell me now, as dumb and stupid as you know, say them fully done, so and sub zero, and you give them the hint for say you go come lock down their community. Tell me which man go stay in their community and they know them a bad man. When who no go come in, they come lock, lock down that community. The man they not take what them for take and gone about them business. Eh? Mr. Prime Minister It's not the entire Jamaica have fully done this It's not the entire Jamaican people are incompetent It's not the entire Jamaican people they are slow It's not the entire Jamaican people they are stupid Lack intelligence and common sense You are not just talking to one side you are talking also to the PMP, the independent and the diaspora abroad. Mr. Prime Minister, you need to get your act together. Because what you guys are doing is cruelty, is wickedness to the less fortunate of Jamaica. It's cruelty. Mr. Prime Minister, it's cruelty what you guys are doing to the less fortunate of Jamaica. You need to ease up your foot off the people of Jamaica neck, Mr. Prime Minister. You need to. The people of Jamaica have done you no harm. They give you a mandate to serve them, to protect them, to lobby on their behalf, to negotiate in their best interest, and to make sure every Jamaican live to his or her full potential, sir. That's all they ask of you. That's all they ask of you. But the things that you are doing to the people of Jamaica, it's heartless, it's cruel. It's cruel. You are not showing no sign of compassion. Not even a hint of care. You use a bro god, bad man, clocks pan foot bad man image and the Jamaican people the clerks pan foot bad man image bro god 
upon the Jamaican people. But you need to stop it, Mr. Prime Minister. Because the people of Jamaica has done you no harm. The people of Jamaica has done you no wrong. So why are you so cruel? Why are you so vicious? Why are you so heartless to the less fortunate of Jamaica? Because they are the one who the SOE work. It does not work the rich of the, it does not hurt the rich of the richest in Jamaica. It hurt the poor of the poorest. They are not criminal. They are not criminal, Mr. Prime Minister. You say you know the 300 gunmen out there. You, Mr. Prime Minister, your Minister of National Security and the Commissioner of Police need to go out there and do your job. Capture these gunmen and leave the Jamaica people alone. Make they walk in peace, man. Make they go and have fun in peace. Make them have peace, man. Much love. And stay tuned. Aromatic Reality TV. I'm out.